Hi, I'm Poppy and I'm Tim Starr's junior scientist. It has been six days since I prepared my bread and I was expecting the one that had all the dirt on my hand to be the worst. But I was not expecting that the soap one, where I washed my hands with soap and water, would be mouldier than the one where I just washed my hands with water. I kept a normal slice of bread to compare to my samples. It doesn't look like there's any mould on it at all, it's just a bit stale. I guess it's the pa wet paper towel, it must have sped up the um, paste of the mould. It looks like there is two different types of mould. One mould which is grey and furry, another one which is green, I think that's penicillium. Next, let's take a closer look at the explorer skull. The mould on the dirty piece of bread looks a lot like angel hair I think. It also looks like frost. It looks pretty because in the explorer school it looks very silver and very like shiny. For something so harmful, it looks really pretty. Let's take a look at the water sample next. On this sample you can clearly see the green mould. It looks a very emeraldy colour but there's not much of it. Looks a bit like it's covered in a spider's web. And you can still see a bit of the mud. Now let's look at the soap sample. There's a lot more condensation on this bag. Just like the water one, this also has emeraldy green dots of mould. But it also has a very dark patch. It even has a bit of yellow mould. Let's take a, a closer look at the normal slice of bread. On the normal slice of bread, it looks very dry and looks like it's got quite a lot of air bubbles. But I can't see any of the cobweb type mould yet. While well, the soap result wasn't quite what I was expecting, it's clear that the dirty one definitely has the most mould on my hands. Well, I guess I better go wash my hands now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Watch out for more of my Tim Star videos coming soon on the Junior Scientist page. While you're there, why not take a look at the Tim Star Knowledge Hub, where you will find even more experiments from Stephen Gates and Fran Scott.